So I finally see a deer. I'm not gonna look at it because it's probably gonna run away. Finally happened. Hello everyone, welcome back to Bohemian Tales. If you're new here, my name is Stefan and I travel with my self-built camper van, Ganapati, which is right over there and then right next to it is a deer. <laughs> I've been uh, going around to many places to actually see deer and they either always run away, but this time around I just literally parked and there was a deer right there, so I filmed that. Got really lucky, I feel. I'm actually at a state park right now, which means I have to pay, but it's 20 bucks a night to camp. However, I can't really check in until 2 o'clock. It's like 1 p.m. right now, which is fine. So I'm definitely just checking out the day you say app. I found out that even though you can't check in until whatever time they tell you you can check in, they will allow you to actually use their day use area until it's time to check in and usually their day use area opens pretty early like 7 a.m so i'm just walking around exploring and i'm kind of loving it it's pretty cool there's not a lot of people yet we'll see about that it's only a tuesday so i'm uh, hoping to see some uh, fall foliage somewhere This looks like a riverbed, so I'm guessing where it's raining, there might be like a little creek coming down this way. That would have been really cool to see and hang out at. But it hasn't rained in a while here, so I can see why it's dry. I like this trail a lot, or the looks of it, I haven't been on it. I like the name, but also <sighs> because, you know, so there's more than one day use area. I'm just gonna check this one out. Another back road right by the road that I came in on. And this is where I'm at and that's the road right there. And it's supposed to be also day use. And let's find out. Let's explore a little bit. Wow, this park is bigger than it looks. And for $3 if you wanna do the day use. That's why I'm actually looking at the day use and it has showers and everything and plus I can come and film once in a while if I'm in town but still be out in nature look at that a few spots to pull out all right so we are in the campground and just look at the view man I'm loving this this is really nice that's a uh, summer group camping if you want to actually stay overnight and we've got a few big rigs over here different types They're kind of close together though I'll tell you that's why I actually don't camp at well you know paying is one but a lot of the camp uh, grounds the established campgrounds they have places so close together that you know it's hard to film it's hard to just have privacy look at that that's an ambulance right there what and it looks like it's 4x4 by 28 I'm like right there wait So I'm really next to the sprinter. <laughs> okay, I'm here. So because I've been driving half of the day, been looking for a camp spot, finally found one and now it's obviously time to make some food. So it's not super cold but it's a little windy so it translates to a little bit of a chillier weather. That's what I'm saying anyway to myself <laughs> because I want to make some ramen. <laughs> so that's what I'm making today for lunch. So a 
hack for you. I have this pot which I'm gonna use today for ramen, but in it I have my tortilla so uh, chips, not the soup. I would love a tortilla soup right now actually. But I have my tortilla chips and I put them on the bottom like so. And then I'll put these bowls on top and it creates kind of a barrier from anything if I ever get like rodents or anything like that to get to it. I try really hard not to put anything out there where it smells to animals or you know rodents want to come in and get it. So that's one of the things that I do and then like the ramen that I have is also in a container. I also have spices galore here so I'm going to be using a few of these. Pepper, tahin for avocado, let's see what else we got. No, pumpkin, but I am gonna be using the Italian seasoning. I really use that, that doesn't mess. And like I showed you in a previous video, I have my big chunk of Vegeta over here. I also got this from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna try it at some point. I'm not gonna do it today, but it's something that uh, it looked very interesting and it's also kind of the same look as the Vegeta so if you can't find Vegeta this is 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's and that could be a good substitute your wings just in time to spring I know it won't last long I miss you when you're gone so I call this the fridge dance I have to move literally everything here because I have the eggs so I still have uh, actually I need the garlic but I have a few more hot dogs left, the onion I also need. What I'm trying to get to is the eggs, which are all the way in the bottom. The only pet peeve I have with these top loading fridges is basically digging through them. It, they do seem a little bit bigger than the other ones that you open from the side, but I can't really say for sure because I never really opened those. And one egg. <laughs> all that, all that for this protein sucker. Okay, back to putting things back in. I don't remember what I had on top of what. Alright, well, in there. I think I got everything ready to make some food. So uh, let's make some magic. And your breakfast made I miss you so I sure hope you can stay Hey, hey I wanna hear about the places you've been And the people you've met Won't you tell me again How you lost your way When you found the wind, babe I don't know what to say I Miss you when you're gone I miss you when you're gone, gone, gone Out there singing that traveling song Oh, spread your wings just in time to spring I know it won't last long I miss you when you're gone Won't 
you tell me about the time back in Kathmandu When they stole your purse, had to sell your shoes Then you met a monk who had nothing left to lose He was born in Mississippi at the bottom of the blues For oh, that time that you set out, slay the dragon in the woods Turns out he's not so bad, just a little misunderstood On the curve of the earth, in the haze of the good wine Tell me, little bird, was I ever on your mind? Perfect weather for a delicious hot ramen soup with uh, Japanese curry. This is gonna be a staple for this fall and winter and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Let's dig in. <clears throat> Spicy goodness, baby. Spicy goodness. Of course, I'm gonna get a bunch of it on me, but I don't care. I try not to cook curry in the van, but I do that once in a while too. <laughs> That's why I actually try to cook outside. So the reason you actually saw me cook in on the floor today, basically of the van, is because it's a little windy. I'm sure you can hear it on camera. Maybe not, it's not crazy windy, but it's enough for my stove to go out like a bunch of times and it becomes just very annoying. <laughs> So that's why I cook in between the doors there. It's kind of cooking outside, but to get all the smell inside and humidity. However, I did open the back door just to get that flow going. You know, I don't make campfires anymore like I used to, mainly because of all the fires that have been going on in the country, but the fire restrictions have been lifted. I'm actually in a paid campground, which is much safer. And tonight felt right, it's a little cold, and I'm just gonna enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you in the morning.
this has been fantastic. This is the diesel heater. What a difference. Good morning everyone. I slept really well actually despite being by a street over there. I think there's a highway over there. The fire station's right in the park actually. But I slept really well. That fire just made me sleep. Let's make some coffee. No, I just realized I didn't give you a tour of my camp spot. Ganapati's parked right over here. There's a table, barbecue, and this. Right here is where I made the fire last night. All gone. And the coffee, and the tea's ready, the tea kettle's whistling. so good it smells like fall I need to fill up the sucker right here because if you can see it's very low. If you enjoyed coming along on today's camping trip, you can check out some more van life related content up here. Don't forget to give the video a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.